Hello and welcome back to the Salmon FM with me, Mitchell, and this is the Unexpected Journey. Thank you very much for checking it out. Um, we're at episode seven now, so uh, year seven, and yeah, it's going quite well. If you remember last time, we managed to get a top division title with the win in the Scottish Premier League. Uh, after leaving QPR for Celtic and winning the top division in Scotland opened us up to the uh, ability to move groups and we ended up drawing group four so we did end up moving out into Europe and I'm excited to see where we land so um, shall we see what jobs are available Okay, so no jobs are available. We've only got jobs that are insecure. And they're international jobs. Not really my forte. You know, if you remember briefly, I had a stint with England <laughs> that lasted like a week. Um, but yeah, so uh, no jobs at the moment. So I'm going to keep an eye out and I'm hoping something comes up very soon. So I will jump back in as soon as we've got something. And here we are at Football Club. I'm going to probably butcher the name now. It's Social. So, Football Club Social. I've definitely, definitely butchered the name. Uh, I did reject the offer from FC Augsburg, who were in the Bundesliga 2. Um, I opted for Social because I've never managed in France. I'm, I really never have, so uh, moving to France, it was uh, f something something for me to do, something for me to learn, and learn on their work permit rules and how many foreign nationals they can have in the uh, squad, so yeah, I uh, opted for these guys. Uh, following that, they have a, an okay reputation, really. there's a fair few trophies in the uh, trophy cabinet, they do currently find themselves in 18th in League 2, is that how you say it, League 2, <laughs> but um, yeah, so they've got excellent youth facilities, adequate recruitment, great training facilities, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting started, and this is where they are, so as you can see, I am in November when I finally got the job, and they are in the relegation playoff spot in France, so a little bit of work to do, you know, I'm, I'm getting very much deja vu here, <laughs> straight from, uh, was it Swindon I took over when they were towards the bottom? <laughs> And Q I'm sure QPR were as well, so uh, yeah, it's a bit of deja vu, we've taken the team in the bottom half, and let's see what we can work with, so, staff, I've got a few spots to fill on the staffing wise, on the coach side, um, and I can pretty much build a recruitment team. Physio's okay, so probably just add a sports scientist in and hopefully do some work there. But I definitely need to work on my defence, attacking, and fitness coach. Um, yeah, guys, if you if 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 you uh, have watched my episodes before, my FC Union Berlin, my uh, financial rescue series, you'll know that I, I focus on getting the staff. You've got to. You can't just you know plod along with terrible staff on this game, you do need to try and recruit the best of the best and improve it, so that's what I will do, and we'll check on that a bit later. So this is the playing squad I've got to work with, with the average ability, well the current ability starting from the top, so Cody Sacco is my star midfielder, so I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he sticks, sticks around. Um. Yeah, I've uh, got a feeling in playing in league, duh, you're gonna end up having a few players wanted and things like that. So, um, just looking at that quick list there, I've got an 18 year old and a 19 year old. So a little bit of youth, but yeah, I'm not liking the look of the the older players on there. It looks like there's a few 30 odd year olds that. A sort of key to this team, and there is that 16 year old there, Samuel Sada. Um, he's gonna end up having people after him, I know he is. Okay, well, 
let's move on. So, what do I have in the bank? I have a three and a half million transfer budget and about 14 grand's worth of wage budget to play with. So, I think I'll have to look at moving people on before signing anybody. Well, I could just move the transfer budget down and see if I can pick up a few steals and uh, do that. But, it's not the one. So, I've jumped forward a month to December and I got the intake preview. And I am not looking forward to that. So, kind of disappointed. Very disappointed. So, let's jump to uh, January and see how we're getting on. So, 1st of January, as you can see from that little screen, we are not in the top 15. We are 16th. So, you know, a little bit of improvement. Um, the results didn't exactly start off fantastic, but, you know, they started... Uh, I can see why the previous guy got the old heave her. But, yeah, so they've, they've started to come along towards the end of the year. So, I, I'm trying to get my brand of football across. <laughs> Uh, and that's how the rest of the season is going to look. So I'm hoping to mark a proper sort of unbeaten run. I think that's what you need, don't you? Uh, so, I didn't know about this in France. But apparently there is a Joker transfer window. And I didn't know that until I sold my goalkeeper Manu Agro to Paris for £2.5 I just assumed he would move in January, however, he disappeared straight away, which got me confused. So, I looked into it, and yeah, there's a Joker transfer window, where you can sign one player from another French club, not during the transfer window. Yeah, that was baffling. I didn't, I don't, I didn't understand that at the time. I do now, but yeah, to be fair, I've never actually known it. I've never really saw anything of it, but, yeah. Uh, right, so, now we're at the end of January. Um, I've got rid of another player. Um, Mr. Gallard, again, another youngster. So, I'm pretty much trying to sort of make money where I can. So, yeah, I've, ma I've, made, I've made about 11 million from him. Well, eventually, we all comes in so social should should be settled financially for another year or a couple of years when this money starts rolling in and then that rounds it up so uh, as you can see there I also sold Jason Pendant and got myself 9.25 I also spent a bit of money yeah I'm not going to dwell too much on it but as you can see I've got Vla Vaclav Kearney over there Signed him from Fortuna Sittard, so he's going to come in as a wide midfielder. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of wheeling and dealing, so just to show you what we did bring in. So, totally, we managed to bring in 21.5 million, um, which, to be fair, that does include the transfers before I got here as well. So, if you just focus on the Gallard and the Pendant transfer, they were the main ones in... January, um, which I managed to bring in, and then in terms of signings in January, I brought Azizbek Mominov uh, from Uzbekistan, from an Uzbekistan team, Pakistan. Uh, I brought in Kuas from Toulouse, Sam Spikers from uh, William, um, David Carter, is another good, you go young staff from New York. Obviously, you've seen Kearney, and then Malik Mendy. He, he moved over on a uh, free from the Aspire Academy in Senegal. If you haven't seen that, guys, go check out that academy. Especially if you actually load up Senegal as a country in the background. Because they do produce some m magic players. Right, so, you can take care of they did come eventually. Um, one exciting goalkeeper. Maybe. So... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And right, so the staff. So as you can see, I've now actually jumped to the end of the season. So uh, it's 
get this done and dusted. So, uh, staff wise, I made them the best. And I've still got space for one technical director. Uh, in the Cup, in the Coupe de France, we managed to get to the semi final where we were defeated by Bordeaux 2 0. So it was a great little cup run that was. And in the league, we ended up finishing ninth. So overall, I'm, I'm, I'm massively pleased with that. I think this team has definitely got something to at least challenge for a playoff spot next year, especially if I do a bit more wheeling and dealing and be a proper Dal boy. Okay, so average rating for the players at the end of the season. I told you, David Carter. <laughs> I say I told you. He made one appearance in four subs, so I wouldn't say that. But Giovanni Hogg. Uh, he is listed because he wants to leave, not because I want him to leave. Um, but, yeah. Um, Shan Spike has come in and done a great job. Uh, Kali Sacco's up there. Samuel Sada managed to fight off any interest from him and keep him around. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I think I've got a really good team here. So next year's war chest is a nice 1.84 million. And that's the vision. So the club wants us to reach promotion playoff next season. And then the year after, they want us to win promotion to League 1. Hmm. It could be done, it could be done. Um, I suppose uh, me getting a new contract will all depend on whether I manage to get the playoffs next year because my contract expires. And that's it, so that is Season 7 all done and dusted. Um, I'm excited to see what Season 8 brings and what we can do with Season 8. I'm hoping for a promotion. I'm hoping for a top job. You know, if, a, if another job comes up, then... Of course, I'll, I'll jump at it, really, wouldn't I? So, I'd be stupid not to. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've stuck around to the end, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've just, you know, you're following the journey as much as possible. And, yeah, I will see you all very soon. And, yeah, keep an eye out for the channel. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment anything you think I should improve on. Anything you want to see me doing instead. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you very much. Bye-bye.